Welcome again to Tesla Info and today we're going to look at the new energy screen that came out as part of release 2022.36. If you like our content don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, you know the score. To use the energy app you uh, open it up in the same way you always have by clicking the icon if it's docked or going through the menus. Um, and we're going to start actually with the consumption menu which is really it's not changed at all compared to how it was before it can show the instantaneous or the average consumption and you can set the range it's uh, it's averaging over there isn't anymore a trip menu per se and that's been replaced with drive under drive you get trip and rated and we're going to look at rated first as this is a new feature essentially what it's showing is a diagonal line which is um, what the rated consumption would be so for every mile of lost battery range you're expected to travel one mile in distance and then you actually see the line of what you've actually done you can also change this between uh, since last drive or since you last charged and obviously since you last charged is usually a longer line so you can see the trend over a greater distance of time um, you'll also see the slightly different colors and one color is where your accumulated uh, consumption is beating your uh, rated consumption and the other color is when you're actually slightly behind if we now look at trip we'll actually see this is more like what we're used to um, you put your journey in the sat nav it knows what the consumption is based on various factors like speed and elevation changes and then it actually tracks your journey against that and a prediction of whether you're going to be above and below it where it's different of course is both of these screens are giving you a breakdown of where that energy is going how much is to driving how much is to climate battery conditioning and so on with that information you can make some informed choices you know with the climate is using an awful lot of energy more than you hope for you can either turn down cabin heating or actually reduce the amount of air conditioning you might have or change the battery conditioning the other thing that you get is actually recommendations and we've seen sort of a mixed opinion of these some of them are you know almost stating the obvious if you drive a pill it uses more energy although it does quantify that although you rarely have a choice um, but we've also had it recommend you know driving below 70 miles an hour which would have saved energy when we've gone nowhere near 70 miles an hour so it's a bit spurious the last thing that we're going to look at and which is completely new is the park uh, information and again this gives you the option to look at you know since you uh, last charged or since you last drove and it gives you a breakdown of where your energy is going um, when essentially you're not doing the car so if you're checking in from the app a lot you can see how much that's using um, but probably the more interesting one is it can quantify how much energy you're using in sentry mode um, and we may find some horror stories in terms of just how much the car is using so that's always through all the features I think it's a welcome addition um, and uh, I hope you find it useful